Some 30 years ago, before the days of 3D printing, my dad and I devised a very simple method of building enclosures for electronic projects. Looking at some of the earlier enclosures, we can see that a front panel and a rear panel are fastened to four horizontal members using machine screws to form the basic structure. Everything else is built around this structure. Based on this, I present a very simple method of building enclosures for electronics projects. This method is based on fastening of components using screws and tapped holes. As you see in this animation, the enclosure is built with a front and a rear panel. These panels are connected to each other using four horizontal rectangular members. The fastening of panels to the horizontal members is by eight machine screws which screw into tapped holes at the end of the horizontal members. Adding a bottom plate with four plastic legs and a cover completes the assembly. The bottom plate, legs and cover are also fastened by screws into tapped holes. The part-wise assembly of components is also shown. Working on the real components, we need to first cut four pieces of the horizontal members. We then file all four pieces to the same size. After this, we drill and tap the ends. We then fix the front and rear panels. Adding the bottom piece is the next step. The four legs are then fastened by screws into tapped holes in the legs. Required cutouts are then added to the front and rear panels. A thick cardboard box is identified for the cover material. The cover is cut to size from this cardboard box. We then assemble the front panel components. As Perspex is used for the front panel, legends on the printed paper are clearly visible. The video shows a 360 degree view of the completed box without the cover. And here we have the completed electronic unit. This method can be extended to larger sizes of enclosures. Thank you for watching and please visit my website at www.ajoyraman.in.